right, so Mr. Makata, thank you for speaking with us. Now, our neighbors in Nigeria recently reported their first case of the coronavirus. I mean, looking at our relationship with them, a good number of Nigerians come to Ghana, and then a lot of Ghanaians actually go to Nigeria often for um, trade reasons and family reasons as well. With the reports of the new outbreak, or of the outbreak, what are the measures, the additional measures, I should say, that you have put in place at that? At your level. Okay, thank you. Um, since December 2019, when the outbreak was announced, mm. yes, we heightened our surveillance, especially at the unapproved route where normally we wouldn't have officers stationed uh, because then at the main border where ascension was concentrated, anybody could use the unapproved routes to enter Ghana and maybe. Uh, the virus having an easy access into the country. So with this outbreak in Nigeria, we have heightened patrols at the unapproved points. And also again, we've had some um, training from the Port Health, including all other border agencies to assist in our frontline officers to assist in trying to identify travelers with any of the symptoms showing. Okay. Then we will immediately refer them to the port hell. So, at the um, uh, unapproved routes now, you you find our officers at least perform some static patrols to to be able to detect anyone who may avoid using the main border points and enter with the disease. Uh, before that, you know now uh, the bottom management system in Ghana is changing. We are having a uh, paradigm shift. Yeah. Now we, we have what we call the Security Governance Initiative, where all border agencies operate under one umbrella. So now this is a health issue that normally you will find Port Health playing the lead role. Okay. But now customs, uh, plant quarantine, immigration, all of us, we come together with Port Health leading us, educating us, then we support them. So now most of the patrols, you, you find custom officers also assisting GIS to perform that, so we have more numbers. Yes, so that's one effective way of ensuring that the unapproved route, that is primarily a GIS function, but being supported by customs, okay. so that we, we can spread or stretch along all, all the un unapproved route. So that is, uh, let me say, an enhanced measure to counter uh, the outbreak having easy access, or so anybody with the symptoms having easy access to enter the country. So now we, we have the numbers. But then it is the other agencies coming together to support Port Health by ensuring that the borders are well patrolled and are saved. Okay.